Last time that I got to visit with you was back in August, August 4th of this year. You were at the Senate Judiciary Committee. You remember that, I assume. We had to cut that hearing short. We were supposed to do two rounds of questions. You said you had to be somewhere, so we cut it short. Republicans were not able to ask a second round as we had been informed we would. The press reported shortly thereafter that the reason that the hearing had to be cut short is because you were flying on a Gulfstream jet for a personal vacation in the Adirondacks. Please tell me that's not accurate. Senator, the hearing was cut short, was not cut short from my experience. We had agreed beforehand on the time and, and, uh, and length of it. And my, I was very surprised to find that the, any mountain committee was surprised. Uh, as to how I uh, fly, I am required, not only uh, permitted, but required to fly uh, on uh, an FBI plane wherever I go. That's so, so you were going on vacation? I was, yes. So you left a statutorily required oversight hearing in order to go on a personal vacation in the Adirondacks? I took a flight to go visit my family uh, as had been previously arranged in conjunction no, no, with no. the leadership of the committee. The ranking member, Chuck Grassley, asked you during the hearing, he said, I assume you must have other business. You said, yes. He then said, if you have a business trip, you've got your own plane, can't it wait a while? He then said, Chuck Grassley, we only just heard half an hour ago that now you have to leave. We were going to have a seven-minute round followed by a three-minute round. I've got seven people on my side of the aisle, that included me, who are waiting for this additional round. Is there any reason we can't accommodate them for 21 minutes? And you said you had a plane to catch. You had somewhere to go. And now we find out it was for vacation? The, the reference to other business was not a reference to that day. It was a reference to the following week where Senator Grassley and I were going to see each other in in Iowa when I had other business in Iowa and I did in fact see him then. So wait, you had to leave the hearing early because you had to, you're going to see him later in Iowa in a week? No, I had to leave uh, when I said I was going to have to leave as had been previously organized <laughs> with the leadership of the committee. <laughs> you, you left an oversight hearing before the Senate Judiciary Committee required by statute so you could vacation with your family. I find that absolutely unbelievable and frankly indefensible. Now, is it your practice to use government planes? You say you do this all the time? You flew in a Gulfstream 550, I think, that was originally purchased for counterterrorism purposes. You were using it to go to, what is it, Saranac Lake? Is that how I say it? I've never been there. Is that, is that the right pronunciation? Saranac Lake? That yes. was your destination? Yes. So did you enjoy the flight? I mean, did you pay for it? Yes, I paid for it. Will you turn over all receipts and reimbursement to Sen this committee? Senator, we will be happy to comply with oversight requests related to the use of the plane, as I said, and it's important for people to understand. Uh, why don't you just give me a I yes. Just, when I, will, can, will you I, turn over the receipts for your flight? I will turn over the information related to committee. my use of the plane. The use of the plane, I am required, not just permitted, required even for personal travel, to use the FBI plane. How convenient and for you. Pay, and I pay every single time that I use the plane for personal I'm use. glad it's available for you to jet away from your statutorily required hearings and oversight before this Congress, where you denied the ability of members of Congress to ask you questions because you had to go on a personal vacation using a government plane. Let's just look at some of the things while you've been vacationing that your FBI has been doing. According to numerous whistleblowers who have come forward to members of this body, to members of the House, the FBI has been sending more than, in one instance, a dozen, when in fact, the stats are being padded by political directive in your office. They also say, these whistleblowers, the D.C. leadership deliberately suppressed investigations into Hunter Biden, contrary to FBI procedure, and have also retaliated against FBI agents and whistleblowers who have contacted Congress, which, by the way, they are protected by statute to do so. This is what's happening at your FBI while you are evading oversight hearings. Mr. Director, do you think you're still up to this job? I absolutely think I'm still up to this job, and I think our workforce feels the same way. Well, I don't. And frankly, I think you should have been gone a long time ago. And given your behavior recently, I think it only makes it more clear. Are there any travel plans today that we should be aware of that you have? We're supposed to have a second round. Will you be here for that? Yes. 